And it was a violent weekend on city streets. Baltimore police now investigate more than a dozen shootings in just 24 hours. One of the victims was a two year old boy. WJZ is live with more on the gun violence and also that toddler who was shot. Mike Shu reports on the investigation. Mike. Good morning, Lynn. The incident started just a couple of blocks from here, but uh, it ends here with the shooting of the two year old. We're at an intersection, which is right next to that vacant Social Security building near MLK. Early Saturday morning, police believe a toddler was in the passenger seat of a car driving along West Franklin Street when another car pulled up next to them and fired shots, hitting the two-year-old in the stomach. You don't fletch a jump anymore. Several cars were waiting at the red light, according to police. When the light turned green, the front few cars did not move. A car toward the back of the line started honking and eventually drove around the stopped cars. One of the stopped cars started following that car and fired shots. You're just frightened all the time, no matter what you do or where you go. Police announced that they've taken a person of interest into custody, but are not yet releasing his or her name. You shot a child. Whoever you thought you were shooting at, you didn't shoot. You shot a child. The violence continued throughout the day Saturday. 15, 15 people were shot and three died from their injuries. Just after one in the afternoon, a 25-year-old man was killed in the 200 block of Herring Court. Several hours later, four people were shot on West Lexington. A 20-year-old man did not survive. And then around midnight, another person died in the 500 block of Palmer. As for the youngest shooting victim, the toddler, he's being treated in shock trauma and is expected to be okay. You just get speeches about it. it just happened so much. Now, police uh, are tweeting out this morning that there were two additional shootings yesterday. One of them was fatal. I'm actually reporting live downtown for WJZ.